Today, to save physical media, I'm out going to Walmart to grab a non-pre-ordered physical copy of the new Godzilla X Kong The New Kingdom 4K Steelbook. How's it going, everyone? Welcome for tuning in to another episode of Figure Out Films. I'm your host, as always, Chris, and I know we're in a different background today. We're in my car. It's 5.30 a.m. in the morning because we are getting a new 4K release because I did not pre-order it <laughs> and I really want it. Um, I I didn't know about this release coming out until I looked it up because I was bored. And uh, I was like, fuck, I need to go out and get it. Now here in Chicago, there's only one or two Walmarts and they're both in the suburbs in Skokie. So I woke up half an hour before Walmart opens. And then uh, remember when 24 hour Walmarts were a thing? I, I miss those. We're gonna be going to Walmart, maybe two of them today to make sure that I can snag a limited edition Walmart exclusive 4K steelbook so I can have these movies in my collection. And let's see if uh, you need to pre-order movies in, the, um, in this physical media world or you can just walk in and just grab one. Um, wish me luck, I really do want this. All right, we're here at Walmart, we're early. I'm gonna see if I can get the door open because I don't, it says it opens at, you know, six, but I see people going in and I don't know if they work there or not. Um, it's it's wild. There's actually um, quite a few scalpers here uh, and that really bothers me. And I'm really hoping I can beat them out to grab this thing uh, because I don't know like with these limited editions because Best Buy, when they had limited editions, you had a fighting chance of going in sh shop to grab one. Walmart, I'm not so sure. I really don't like getting my physical media from Walmart, but they've somehow finagled a stranglehold around the throats of physical media collectors, especially with these Lion Gate steel books and things like that and also it's just become a scalper market scalpers coming in and, and and getting them or maybe they just don't carry unless it's for a pre-order demand that could be another thing so that might teach me my lesson so i'm gonna go in hoping that i can snag one right at open if not i gotta get back in this car and go down this block uh, a couple miles down um to the other walmart there and see if i can grab it um but like i said i do see some people out in the parking lot i'm gonna assume they might be some sort of scalpers as well you know the uh, mo more motivated unemployed people why can't you just be on employed like me I hear right it open I'm so excited bro they're all out how I guess because I didn't pre-order it it's not here And even with the figures on this section, it's just diabolical. It's just empty. I mean, a couple NECA aliens here of Ash. I mean, maybe I'll consider this one as a consolation. Okay, I'm at the other Walmart because eh, they didn't have it at the previous one. The street dates seem to be confused. I think they put them out early in the other one. I'm hoping that's not the case here. Or they have more copies in this Walmart. So let's go ahead and, and hopefully find one. Oh, brother, no. Of course they don't have it. But they have 4Ks. They have Blu-rays. They have Kung Fu Panda. And they have this whole ass steelbook section. You gotta be kidding. Ooh. This is like a slap in the face. They of course have the steelbook of this one, which I'm not a big fan of this glow in the dark. Um, jeez. Also, like they have so many copies, but they don't have the steelbook. I mean, 30 bucks for this 4K. <sighs> that just, that's just disappointing. <laughs> I mean, at least I got a 4K. This is so sad. I mean, it, they have two things of DVDs and two of Blu-ray, one of 4K. I mean, I get it, but I'm sad. And at that price, nah. And after that disappointment, this is honestly the best deal in Walmart right now. I just, I just had to check my phone to see, like, 
where could you buy this? Like, if it's not in any of the stores, one didn't even have a key skew for it. So I looked online, and if you, this is the first thing that pops up. It's out of stock. The street date was for today. I get it. It was a pre-order, but still, they should have some in stock. I can't be crazy in thinking that. Two Walmarts, both usually are stocked, will have this, but it's nowhere to be found. And Walmart's app is honestly finicky, and there's usually third parties selling on there. Nowhere here does it show a street date. Like, I know the street date because I looked it up online, and it doesn't show it here on Walmart's walmart.com it doesn't tell you anything there's no chance to and here's the comments just talking about um you know the movie and look people are asking for when is there a restock well you know when are you gonna be able to purchase this i mean this is really bad for physical media and walmart you are not helping at all and look it's clear that people are getting it maybe these are people that are pre-ordering it i'm not sure this is ebay granted but still like come on this person has more than one in stock and quantity. Um, this is this is insane. Like this is worse than vinegar syndrome with its you know quantity number and people just buying it before the quantity goes down to zero. I mean, where are these people getting these? That's what I want to know. Do they fall off a truck? Because look, these prices are insane, and we'll have to pay these if you want this, unless you find it in the secondhand market. Like, how is this this hard to do, guys? Come on. <sighs> So we ended up not getting Kong X Godzilla, the new kingdom on 4K. Uh, the steel books, as you saw, are out of stock. Um, a lot of people were wondering when it even came up for pre-order. And the fact that there were QR codes at Walmart and none in stock, it's very telling. Walmart does not update its, its stock, its supply. It seems like it's a pre-order market, which is very frustrating when it's a Walmart exclusive. And that's one of my biggest complaints with physical media is that that is the new norm. If you want something, you need to pre-order it and you better hope that nobody has bots or nobody buys out all the pre-orders, um, especially with something like Walmart. Walmart is so finicky with its with its app. It's not like pre-ordering through a boutique label, um, which is very frustrating when it's an exclusive for that. I know that Walmart is trying to get a stranglehold on that now that Best Buy has stopped selling physical media. So, you know, Walmart's kind of got a stranglehold on it now. So I still didn't leave empty handed. However, I did pick up a few things while I was there. So uh, I did pick up one of these. These are like 3D um, VHS decor. This is Friday the 13th part three. Um, I do... I did like these. I was out one night with Daniel from Cobwebs and we were talking about these and I always said I'd like to pick this one up if it was at a significant discount because they wanted $25 for this. Um, this was discounted down to $10. I think that's worth it. If you open it up, you can hang it up and it just Friday the 13th is a 3D effect. Pretty cool, you know. And then I ah, had to get a NECA and uh, I saw I got Ash from um, from Alien and this old vintage. They had a bunch of these. Uh, this was 12 bucks. It said it was 18, so 12 bucks for this. I'm gonna just use it as a display piece for my Alien and Predator to, to kill. Um, so I'm excited for that. Sorry, Ash, and it comes with his his cum face too. Bro. Um, as you can see, that's why they put the yellow sticker in front of it so people don't think, what the hell? Um, but yeah, ended up getting those two things. Still cheaper than that steel book. Um, so I did get some stuff that's physical for movies. Um, but yeah, really bummed out. What are your thoughts on this new trend, this new practice? I know a lot of steel book collectors are happy about Walmart getting Lionsgate steel books and steel book collecting is bigger than it's ever been now. But I think for the people who are, who are collectors and not steel book collectors, I think this is going to hurt them down the line. Let me know your thoughts. Other than that, thank you all for tuning in to another episode here at Figure Out Films. I'm Chris, as always. And remember, if you are not out trying to get physical media, do you really care about cinema? Other than that, I'll see you next time.